and welcome to my community on Afrocentric Television Channel 15.8. This is a show that revolves around the African community in Houston, Texas, and by extension, United States. My name is Kola, and welcome to the show. Today we have so much in stock for you. We have, you know, the fashion and beauty. We have the health segment. We have, uh, you just name me, sports. And we have, of course, the entertainment. And um, But we have two very important guests that um, from Africa that will be talking about, you know, the events that are coming up in Houston um, in recent time because we we're going to be having um, OTC, one of the largest, if not the largest, oil and gas technology conference here in Houston. It's an annual pro um, event, uh, conference, but this year marks their 50th year anniversary. So a whole lot of people will be in Houston area from Africa and all over the world. And also we're going to be talking about, you know, uh, people that are willing to do business in Africa and with Africa here in the United States. We will have join us uh, Mr. Akin Dele and also Neka Achaku. So stay tuned for more segment. But for now, enjoy what's coming to you next. One of my greatest privileges is to be right here with you uh, today on this very special day. To Mr. Bassman and to all of those affiliated with the Wasobia African uh, market, let me congratulate you just from the very, very beginning. Uh, since I've been mayor, I've gone to countless, countless ribbon cutting ceremonies. But I will tell you, uh, this one is very personal and I, I am honored to be here. As I said to some of you earlier, uh, I just didn't want to send something, uh, uh, but I wanted, I wanted to come myself uh, because this is a very special day. We have one of the largest African populations right here in Houston, in the Houston region. We have the largest Nigerian population uh, in the United States right here in the Houston, Houston region. with you and uh, and this is this is a, a very special day not only uh, for the African community uh, but it's a very special day for the city of Houston community which is very diverse and a large part is very diverse because of the African community and I'm proud to be an African American mayor in the city of Houston <laughs> store you know but I was asked Mr. Bosman you know, how many more stores are you planning? And I think he told me at least about 10. Yes, sir. Did I get that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many more are you planning? <laughs> 10 to 15 in the Houston region. And then moving all over the, all over the state of Texas. He, he, he carries what we our mantra in the city of Houston. You go big, big. or you go home. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't mind me saying this, we serve a big God. Yeah. Yeah. We serve a big God. You have not because you ask not. Mm -hmm. And he's capable of doing some big things. Okay? And so uh, I wish you the very best. But what I indicated is that the city of Houston wants to join with him and partnering with him and supporting him. Because as these stores are built and become economic tools, not just providing authentic African food, but a number of people are employed in these stores. And I think in this particular store, there are about 28 employees that are giving, being provided jobs because of the store, because of his vision. Give it up to him again. Commissioner Ellis as well, <laughs> Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, and I'm representing Congressman Al Green, okay? So let's do this. Whereas the Guazovia African market was established on June 18, 2019, as part of Guazovia's effort to support economic development and community building, I'm not going to read everything, and whereas the Guazovia African market has worked tirelessly in the community to advocate for underserved communities and has made countless donations to those in need. The market was a driving force to Hurricane Harvey. And whereas on April 27, 2019, the Wysovia African market led by Tuesday Fossima 
will host the great opening and unveiling of its second location as the largest Africa store in the city of Houston and to highlight the outstanding contributions of the African community. This will mark an historic moment for Houston's African community. And whereas the city of Houston commands the Wazovia African market for its commitment to enhancing the quality of life of the African community and extends best wishes for a successful grand opening. Therefore I, Sylvester Turner, Mayor of the City of Houston, hereby proudly proclaim April 27, 2019 as Wazovia African, African Market, market Day. Day. Nice. And you've heard, um, I'm here live with the CEO, the man behind the vision of Wazobia, Mr. Tunde Fashina. Welcome. Thank so, you very much. Today is a big day for you Amen. and your business. Yes, I know sir. you have an, a first store off of Westheimer. Yes, sir. And now, what brought you to the southwestern, that's in West Houston. Yes. What brought you to the southwestern part of Houston and why did you think you have to go big? I know you're Texan, so right. Texans usually go big, right? Yeah. So, but why, why, why choose this location? Okay. Um, well, when we began looking for another location three years ago, um, the criteria for what we were looking for was we wanted to be to build a bigger store than the one that we have at the, at the point. We needed to make it more comfortable for customers to go in and out, uh, and we needed a place that was central to the. African populace so that way it'll be easier for them to get to and it was literally a stroke of luck uh, that we were driving around because and, and we saw the place was empty we had driven around a few times uh, uh, but at that point this place was uh, occupied by uh, Melrose so oh, yeah that's true Melrose is yeah true. so we were looking around we did not want to be on Bissonnette so we we're looking at either Beechnut or Bel Air. And it was one morning driving around. We we saw it, we're like, okay, this is a fantastic location. We know the area. Uh, so we said this is this is great. We called the landlord, made a deal, and that was it. So how did you do it to get the mayor to support this vision? This is huge. This is a huge accomplishment for the African community in Houston. So how did you do it? It was, it's when you have a great team that works with you, anything is possible. I agree. We were spitballing, trying to find out what we were gonna do. And it was one of them that said, why not see if the mayor will come? And uh, Linda, which is a very, very good friend of ours, uh, she offered to make the contact. We emailed them. And we waited. And it was literally during a strategy meeting about a month later. In that meeting, the email came in that he was going to be coming. Oh, shocked were we. But we were very grateful that he decided to come and see us. And he didn't even send nobody. He came himself. Amen to that. <laughs> uh, we describe it as an honor for us. Uh, one for which we are eternally grateful to the mayor and the city of Houston. And uh, it, it, it was, it, it's just overwhelming. It's, it's a humbling moment for Bravo. us. What is the support like from the African community to your business? And I know you do give back a lot to yeah. the African community and even Houston as a, as a city, well, right? Put it this way, I mean, 
the support from the African community has been nothing short of miraculous. Uh, we went from a store that was half empty mm. to, to having no the biggest, <laughs> thank you, to having no space within the store and then through that store building the biggest store of its kind in Houston. It really doesn't get any better than that. It can't get any better than uh, that. And so we are immensely, immensely grateful to the African community. We hope to continue to service their needs and satisfy their wants. Um, we are here to make sure that they have a great experience every single time. And we will do whatever we can to make sure that every customer leaves here with a smile on their face. Fantastic. And Afrocentric is here with you all the way. Amen and I'll that. tell you much, I spoke with some of your guys and um, I love the diversity and the cultural diversity, uh, ethnicity uh, diversity in your employee line, yeah. right? And, and that's something that, that's to write home about. Amen and I would that. just encourage you to keep doing great, keep doing us proud. We love what you do and we love your people, we will support definitely. But I just hope soon you will come set up one on outside of town in Cyprus. Cyprus? Mm -hmm. Well, put it this way, anywhere that we 